Now what if you self-sabotage yourself? That's not a good attitude to help you scale and grow your business. And what's even worse, if you're not aware of it. And that's what I see a lot with business women. When we are aware of it, we dive away and we, and, 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 and we dock deep under. When we're not aware of it, it's even worse because you can't see what you don't know and what you can't see. And I will give you some tips what to do and how to find out. My name is Tineke Rense. I'm from Powerful Business Academy. I help business women to scale and grow their business and double their income within a year, guaranteed. Now, what about this self-sabotaging? Number one, you need to be careful about words that you might use. Words such as can't, shouldn't, wouldn't. All the things that constrict. Words that will stop you. Words that represent a belief. Because I can't do this. I don't think I should do this. Um, don't. It's another one. And... You know, this is something you believe, but a belief is not true. And just know that your inner self, your higher self, will never say those kind of words uh, to you and will never believe that you can't do anything because the things you come up with are specifically for you to be able to do. It's because you can stretch yourself, you can learn from it, but you will never get ideas and you will never love wanting to go somewhere if you're not the right person to match to fix that yeah so you can trust that whenever you get an idea that you are the right person to do it you might not know how to do it yet you might not have the right knowledge yet you might not not have met the right people yet but it starts with an idea and then don't stop yourself so don't listen to the limiting words can't shouldn't wouldn't don't dare and any of them okay number two notice the feeling you have if you feel that your stomach is constricting if you start breathing here if your shoulders are like that if your mouth and is like that that's when you start to constrain yourself and that's also something it's a signal so you know you are doing things where your beliefs are not matching with the actions that you take. And that's self-sabotaging once more, okay? Tip number three, when you worry, worry is also something that is going to self-sabotage you. Worry about what other people say. Worry if the timing is right. Worry if, you're, if, if what other people think. Um, there's a lot of worry. Now, worry is also something that is going to stop you. It's a self-sabotaging mechanism. And number four, when you think or see that it's too big, it's too complicated, so all the two words, that's something that your subconscious will tell you, to this, to that, to such, to so. And that's going to stop us from taking action. Too complicated. Well, it's just that you don't know how yet, but that doesn't mean you can't do it. Yeah? So stop using these words. You can track whatever you think, whatever you say to yourself, and always those words are never going to make you feel great. No, they make you feel bad or any other thing in that area, or any other emotion, any other belief, any other feeling in the same area. They don't light you up. Now, what are the solutions? First of all, none of it is true. Everything you're saying to yourself to limit yourself is bullshit. And I've already told you, you won't get those ideas. You won't get those thoughts if you're not the person to do it. The universe has installed it in your mind. You created that idea yourself. You have seen something in a moment of pure joy, in a moment when you were your true self, 
And that's when you saw what you could do, who you can be, what can happen. And that's where you need to start listening to, because that's the truth. Not all the, all the things you say to yourself. They are not the truth. Don't listen to it. What you can do to help yourself is find an accountability partner. If you're on the path of growing yourself, stretching yourself, creating new things, doing new, uh, taking new actions daily, it is complicated. And you might want to listen to all the buts, the no's, the don'ts. Have an accountability partner. Have someone that keeps you accountable. Say, this is what I'm going to do today. And the person checks in with you. Did you do it? And don't accept your excuses. There can be reasons why things don't work. Uh, maybe a, an office is closed. Maybe you can't find something. Maybe whatever. If you know you've done all you could, then it's just not working at that moment, maybe the next day, maybe you need to let go a bit and it will come automatically, new insights will come. But if you give up too easily, that's also self-sabotaging. So you need to become very aware of how you feel because when you feel something, you have thought something. There's always a thought and then you will feel. And if you feel fear, doubt, uncertainty, constraint, you have thought limiting belief and you are about to start self-sabotaging yourself. If you can track that system, if you can track the thoughts, then you can replace the thought and immediately you will start to feel different. And I want to give you a warning because I've been training this for many, many years, many years since I was 18 and I'm 56 now. So. I can tell you it's never gonna go away, but your awareness helps and the things that you overcome, they will be easy. But if I'm going to do new things, okay, I have the experience that I know when I do new things, I can manage them, but my feeling, <laughs> my uncertainty, my doubts, they will start to kick in whenever I'm expanding myself again. So you know, whenever you start to feel that, it's not true. And that's what I say to myself. And that's why you, you, I can expand myself and you can expand yourself. Always, always. And this is what you need to be able to scale and grow your business. It's an attitude you need. Now, there's more things to scaling a business. It's not only about the mindset and the attitude. It's, of course, about the strategies, the skills, the training, the behavior, and, and, and a lot more. So, if you are willing to scale, to scale and grow your business and double your business within a year from now, just reach out to me, schedule a quick 15-minute call, um, check me out on my YouTube channel and uh, become a, a member and maybe we have a conversation very soon because I love to help business women scale and grow. So I hope you like this video and I'll see you next week in another video. Have a great week. Bye bye.